identification of the Frankel's appliance as an image based question is a very important and a frequent question because here they want to test uh, your knowledge about the various components of the appliance. So as we know the Frankel's appliance is very unique because it has these various components, the acrylic components like these buckle shields and lip pads and the various wire components which could be very confusing for the students. So this is a very important table that I suggest you go through and know thoroughly because any image based question that can come from Frankel's appliance can be answered if you know this table well because this tells you about the various components as well as indications and the different identifying features. Okay. Now, usually in an image based question, they never ask Fra Frankel 4 and 5. They usually only ask you indications of FR 4 and 5. It as an image based question, they will stick to either 1, 2 or 3. Okay, so how will you identify between these three? So, FR3 can be very easily identified based on two features. First is the lip pads and second is the labial bone. Okay, so in FR1 and 2, so this is FR1 and this is, uh, this is FR1 and this is FR2, if you see the lip pads are present in the mandibular anterior region, okay, in both of them. And the labial bow is present on the maxillary anteriors. Now in FR3, it is used in class 3 cases. So the uh, position of these uh, components is reversed. So the lip pads are seen in the maxillary anterior and the labial bow is seen in the mandibular anterior. Okay, so this is how you will identify FR3. Now between FR1 and FR2, the identifying feature is the canine loop. Okay, canine loop. In FR1, the canine loop runs interproximally. That is, it comes from between the lateral incisor and the canine and it runs gingivally at the gingival margin of the canine. So it looks somewhat like a C-class. Okay, whereas in an FR2, it does not run interproximally. It comes uh, buckly or it comes from above. Okay, and it is an actual loop. So it looks like an actual loop as compared to uh, in FR1, where it looks somewhat like a C clasp. This actually looks like a loop. So that is the uh, identifying feature between FR1 and FR2. So here, if you see in the question, the uh, lip pads are in the lower, that is in the mandibular anterior. So it is not FR3. Okay. And here, if you see the canine loops, it is in the shape of a proper loop. So this is an FR2.